I picked this up from the drugstore the other day and I feel like it's gonna be too dark. This is the NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation. I just used the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I probably shouldn't have done that because that's not gonna give me a good representation of what this is like. Oh, actually, that's not bad. I'm just gonna go for it. That's nice. I think I really like this. Let's stick to the drugstore products. I actually picked this up a long time ago. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation, but I purposely got it in a darker color, thinking that I would contour with it. Might be a little warm, but we'll see. I feel like this color would be better if I had underpainted with it. So you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my foundation brush and go over top. Don't ever be afraid, it's just makeup. You can blend, you can erase, it's supposed to be fun. You can tell I like this a lot since it's so low. I kind of dab into both of them. Depends on the status of my self tan. Look how bright that is. It's one of my favorite products, honestly. I'm gonna use Trini London Passion just with my finger and I'm gonna put that all over. See what happens. And drag it up a little bit onto my brow bone. Easy peasy. I need my nails done, don't look. And drag up to my brow bone. Because if I don't drag it up to my brow bone, you won't be able to see it when I open my eyes. I'm gonna use a little bit of the same color underneath my lash line. It is that simple, guys. It doesn't have to be complicated when you're doing your makeup. If you don't know where to start when it comes to eyeshadow, stick with one color. You don't have to be fancy to give yourself a little boost. I'm getting a stronger color of this because I'm using a stiffer brush and I'm concentrating it. I'm not blending it out. Whereas here, I blended it out into a thin layer. So it's very soft there. So this is all one color. It's just more concentrated in some areas and sheared out in others. And it is buildable. As you can see, I might just take a fluffy brush, make sure it's all blended. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. Gone back to my Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. It comes off so easy, it doesn't irritate my eyes and it doesn't flake on me. Do I have a drugstore blush? Let me try Laura Geller. My thing broke off, what the heck? This one is in Rose Bronze. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Whoop, get off of there. Just taking my foundation brush around the edges. I like this color, that's pretty. Is this too dark? This is an Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry. Oh, I went outside the line. <laughs> Number five. Try this one. This is Exhibitionist Lip Gloss by CoverGirl in Fling. A little bit of a brow. This is LA Girl. I just tinted my brows, so they're so much easier. Okay, I really like this. My skin looks good, it feels good. I haven't powdered at all. I did prep it with the e.l.f. Halo Glow and I shouldn't have done that because I really don't know what this would look like without it. But with it, it looks great. I feel really good. I think my skin looks really healthy and that's what I'm going for. I don't feel like I need to powder, but I will. I tried to use all drugstore products today, but I don't have any powders from the drugstore. So I'm gonna use my favorite Laura Mercier Blur Powder. And I'm just gonna set it in here, a very tiny bit in here. And right there. And that's it, I don't need it anywhere else. All right, have you guys tried this before? How many ounces comes in this? It feels so small, but it's one ounce. Actually, these would be so good to travel with. Anyway, I love my makeup. I hope this helps everyone. Let me know if you've tried this before and I'll see you later. Bye.